Hello everyone, this is Nalini Andi, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce. Now I am going to discuss about the winding up of companies in this, the functions of the liquidator. So before going to the functions, let us have uh, some idea about the rights and duties. First, the right of a liquidator is that he has to admit and reject the claims of the creditor and it is a duty of his to admit and also reject the claims of the uh, creditor and next he has a power to access any information system for the purpose of verification of claims identification of assets forming a part of liquidation estate of the corporate data from sources such as information utility credit information system central and state government agency data maintained by the board etc as specified in the section 37 of the code so these are the two rights that he has he has and uh, next uh, you have is that he has to evaluate the preferential transactions, if any, done by the corporate data. So any preferential transactions in other that uh, if it is done by any corporate data, he has to evaluate that. And next you have to avoid undervalued transactions. If the, suppose any undervalued transactions are there, he has to avoid such transactions. And next is he has to distribute the liquidation proceeds as per the section 53 of the code. So next he has to make up the application for the dissolution of the corporate data once all its assets are duly liquidated. So he had to make an application for the dissolution of this corporate data once all its assets are duly liquidated. Next uh, coming to the functions of the liquidator. First uh, function is he has to carry on the business of the company as far as may be necessary for the beneficial winding up of the company. So he has to carry out the business in such a way that it must be beneficial uh, uh, for the winding up of the company. And he has to do all the acts and he has to execute in the name and also on behalf of the company all deeds, receipts and other documents for that purpose to use when necessary the company's seal. So he should do all acts and also he should execute in the name and also on behalf of the company the whatever the all the deeds, the receipts or any other documents for that purpose he may also use the company's seal. And next uh, function you have is he has to sell the whole of the undertaking of the company as going concern. So he has to sell whole the whole of the undertaking of the company. And the next function he has to do is that he has to raise any money required on security of the assets of the company and uh, to de uh, defend any suit, any prosecution or any other legal proceedings. It may be a civil proceeding or a criminal proceeding in the name and on behalf of the company. And the uh, next function what he has to do is that he has to invite and settle the claim of the creditors, employees or any other claimant and distribute the sale proceeds in accordance with the priorities established in their acts. And the next function is he has to inspect the records and also returns of the company on the files of the registrar or any other authority. So he has to inspect whatever the records is there and also what are the returns of the company on the files. So he has to inspect the files so that he will come to know the, uh, the various uh, records and also returns of the company. And he has to take such actions or steps or he has to execute and verify any paper, it may be any agreement, any document, any application or any petition, affidavit bond or any instrument that may be necessary. Thank you.